Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms on the series JG. We, um, we took a city last time, but we've got Ma Tang trying to take advantage of sort of the short-term chaos of the shift. I have to decide now, do I want uh, all dragon to be manually ordered to move up and attack Guan Cheng? Or is he fine just pelting Guan Tong with arrows? The answer is it probably doesn't matter. Beihai is pretty much doomed. Um, things might get more interesting though. Um, over here, it might be a good idea for Ji Hao Yuan to back up to here and for Toll Panzer to be up here in a position to support. I don't think I'll march troops out of Anding, but between the two of them, I've got 1,800 troops, which is less than is being thrown at me, although those are really good generals. Uh, I'm taking a gamble. Instead of... Instead of marching a bunch of guys out of Chang'an to help fight them, I'm marching guys out of Chang'an to... actually see if we can take uh, Tian Sui from them. So here, we've got eight active officers, and it is going to be time to get shit going. First thing we probably need to do is get recruitment going, because we're on the front lines against an enemy. No one here is a summoner, but Sun Dao will be really good at that. Although Sun Dao would also be really good at domestic stuff. He'd be good at... He would be really good at building up... Um, oh, he's a drill master. Sun Dao would be really good at uh, commerce and not at like farms and stuff. Speaking of being good at commerce... We need whoever's going to be best at commerce other than Anding. And that's Borta, who I believe is the wife of uh, Genghis Khan. Because we got all this silly fantasy shit going on in this. Um, we will get her involved. This one should be working on agriculture. Woozy, it looks like we're going to lose. So let's make it last priority to get an officer in charge of uh, its stuff. And you should be working on barracks, which is fine, because we probably got a lot of guys who are decent at barracks and have nothing else to do. You're decent at barracks. That should help with uh, hiring overseers and stuff, or hiring uh, drill master type stuff is going to help with money, but getting people working on, like, actually overseeing these areas will. As you command, I'll strive to bring peace of mind to the people with my governing. Seems like a good fella. Now, I don't know what, but some of these territories here probably are, are supposed to be ours, but are currently being held by Mateng, so. I will be interested to see how well the fights go up here. It's been a while since I've tried to use this, um... Dajun, Lita, Grandma, Twill Panzer are out. I probably should be switching them to other people, but... It's not on it right now. We got Augman Marmoran sewing Discord. It's great. Um, just a thousand troops each sitting in these two gates doing nothing. <laughs> the 
there's no officers in those bases to lead the troops out. Oh, there is one here. Who actually owns that? Is it Luo Yang? It is. Who is currently overseer there? Wang Zhong. Zhong, rather. What if we were to move? What if I moved him there? Um... What? Yeah, it's not showing any officers here, that's why I can't march out of it. Here's Wang Zhang. Maybe Wang Zhang's already in the middle of something? If Wang Zhang's already in the middle of something, that would explain why I can't summon him. But I want to pull him in there so that he can... Uh, He's at Hulao Gate, but he's governing Hongo Gate. Okay. He's a contriver. Supply consumption of troops is decreased. He's cautious, shaken, and rash. All I want to do is get him over there so that he can take a thousand troops out and put them in a Luo Yang. Because I noticed that it's annoying that, like, I'm going to end up being a thousand troops short of what I want to do at some point, and it'll be because of that. Sense. These gates, these are gates between my cities. They are not going to come under attack, and if anything happens and that changes, then I can adjust. Boy, man, I got like 33,000 troops in Chen Liu. I don't know if I have enough officers to even lead troop counts like that. So there comes a point where I'm like, maybe I have to stop recruiting, but I'm nowhere near maxing out what these cities are able to hold. Yeah, I'm like less than half of the troop count that I can have in Chen Liu, and it's not even a large city. So, yeah. Okay. People. Employ. I've got some free officers who apparently didn't get hired. Uh, by uh, he maybe like, like how did I not capture? How did the Guo C not get captured? He must not have been working for, um, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember the name of the force that I just conquered. But I'll find the officer because he should be a prisoner now. Yeah, Li Jui apparently didn't hire Guo C the, uh, or fired him or something happened. Because he's free. Um, he should be. Working for us. He doesn't want to work for us at all. Hmm. Even Yuan Chao can't hire him. I'll explain why he never came to work for us before. Maybe he needs time. His loyalty was lowering. But uh, I guess Zhu Huang just will never ever work for us. And if I'd known that was the case, I would have executed him. Of course, Peng, uh, Peng Chong. Of course, Yuan Shu would execute him if it was like known that he would never serve. 
Uh, it was just, I guess he'd already been captured and refused to serve. Maybe I should have considered that an executable offense anyway. I just wanted to have him because he's a good officer. We don't need more good officers at this point, obviously. Uh... suddenly having this paranoid feeling that I forgot to hit record. We're recording. Okay. Confidants Shi Huan and Man Chong. There's nothing where he's, uh... I don't understand why he would, uh, not be willing to serve. He has no force that he's loyal to anymore. Usually, there's something going on. Like, this game doesn't have... Doctrine might. This game doesn't have, like, you know, the different um, dreams and stuff. The various other games have had things where they try to get people's personalities. Really, this game just has... If somebody's considered an adversary, you'll never work with them. So I don't know why he's refusing, but he is refusing. So let's... Not worry about it right now. We'll we'll keep him in we'll keep him in prison if he never like if, if he escapes again and never works for us, even though he has no force to be loyal to, then he'll go to work for somebody else. And the next time we capture him, uh, we'll just execute him. Having said, who else is of value in this group? Um, we're going to hire everybody just because we need the bodies uh, to be overseers. But uh, Guo see himself, or Li Jui himself, has above average military, and that's all he's good for. Uh, I forget who he is, although his stats suggest he was reasonable. Is that the guy who is, uh... Is that the guy who was, like, Jiao Chan's adopted father, who is, uh, the one who actually set up the plot to take down Dong Zhuo? Because he's an officer in the game. He's working for... He was working for somebody, unless he got killed in the story. Well, and for, who are you? I always wonder about the female characters. She's the wife of Zhang Ji. Oh, this is uh, this is the lady that was used as part of a. Like, she wasn't personally a part of it, but uh, she's a gorgeous instrumentalist. Now, she was uh, the woman who basically cost Yan Wei his life indirectly because Cao Cao got the hots for her. And uh, she, she was offered at Cao Cao as part of a plan to trick Cao Cao into coming in to get his uh, freak on, but then ended up being uh, betrayed and killed. This is a Hermit of Mount Zhongan. He advised Cao Cao to build a castle in ice. Brewing strategies placed, praised by Cao Cao, but put to death for speaking rudely. So never mind, this guy's not actually... Um, has nothing to do with Jia Chan. Now, Jia Zhu is a Dynasty Warriors character and has great overall stats, so he's, he's the guy that we care about most out of this group. So let's see if we can hire him. I'll wait and do rewards after I've hired these guys because they're all going to come in with not particularly high loyalty, obviously. Oh, Kayan, I meant to find out who she is. Some poetess with the most S test. Sundar will hire him. Go for the free people in Chang'an. Go see again, mediocre military, terrible, about everything else. Borta should be able to hire uh, her because women can. Women know how to speak to each other. As a woman, I understand a woman's needs. <laughs> Sorry. No objection to this choice. You can hire this reckless guy with mid with below average stats if you want. I have no objection. Again, just bodies to act as overseers. Well, the guy we're about to hire is a recruiter, which means he'll be useful for hiring others eventually. It's just this endless pattern. Zhang Ji should be able to get Guo Xi to come to work because, uh, or uh, Li Zhui because they all were together in that force. Uh, full face and you will return. Not necessarily with this guy in our employ, but he's gonna come. Like I don't think he's gonna go 
go join that guy in prison. Hey, Wooji! Okay, Wooji's another guy. He just does not want to work for us. This guy, he's got terrible stats and only uh, negative personality uh, traits. As far as in-game personality traits with impacts. He will work for us, but the characters we want... He will successfully return. That's probably what it said before. Successfully return. Now we could send you on Shu to personally hire him. And, uh... How long will it take? It'll take a month. It's not worth it. I was going to say we might send him just because that way we definitely have a... A role play reason for us to put Zhu Huang to death the next time we have a chance. You're not allowed to execute somebody. You send them to prison, you can't order them. It, I, it's never made sense, but the RTK series has always worked this way. You can't order them put to death once they are a prisoner. You either put them in prison or you put them to death. You don't get to switch. But, um, having. It would be completely in character for Yuan Shu and for our entire force. If Yuan Shu went to hire him, Visit him in prison and asked him to join, and he refused, and you and insulted Yuan Shu ordered his death on the spot. That is absolutely a thing that would make sense for us. I'm burning through all of my uh, orders with these uh, attempts to hire people. That's not a problem, it's just uh, I won't end up beginning to do a ton of stuff uh, domestically after this is over. Don Chang, I forget who he is. He's a kinsman and he's downcast. Guy's got drill master power. We may need to um, hire people, throw money at them, and then use them to hire other people. Like in theory, Li Jui should be able to hire any of these guys. And Li Jui is not someone who has like a. Uh, ethics where he's going to refuse to join us if it gets him out of prison. Li Zhui and um, Guo Si fought each other a lot and then joined forces as soon as they were both um, in trouble. So this is an entire video of me menuing through the hiring prisoners stuff. But we are almost done. Li Yui. Yeah, there's a couple of guys who just won't have anything to do with us. Lu Gui Fa Fa Zheng should have no trouble. Okay. I only got a few orders left. Dong Hang. Dong Pen. There was one guy I was curious about um, in the the officers that we took prisoner who won't work for us. Dong Chang, what was your deal? You were Emperor Xian's father-in-law, received a jeweled leather belt from Emperor Xian with a message to execute Cao Cao and began pondering how to carry out his orders, which found actually... Yeah, so that was the, um... It was the, like, uh, the belt plot, or the, the robe plot or something. He was a guy who went to visit the Emperor, and the Emperor, uh... Basically, got him a message begging him to find a way to get rid of Cao Cao, and... And I think, I think this is tied in with the same story. He was trying to... There's a couple of warlords, but specifically Liu Bei and uh, Ma Tang were amongst the people that the Emperor was asking to join a coalition to fight and, to, and stop Cao Cao, because Cao Cao had basically made the Emperor a prisoner um, and a puppet. And uh, that's why Ma Tang attacked... In the novel, at least, I don't know how much this is based on real history at all. In the novel, Ma Tang attacks... Uh, Cao Cao and gets killed in an ambush, which is where Ma Chao declares Cao Cao uh, his mortal enemy. And, and you know, Ma Chao, his, Ma Chao's whole force collapses because he's so, like, blinded with the need to murder Cao Cao that he treats his own allies poorly and blah blah blah. 
Yeah, but he's a he's a loyalist to the Han, so Don, Don Chang. And that might be another thing. If there's a mechanic in this that I'm not tracking properly, where, excuse me, certain people are loyal to the Han, that doesn't make any sense. The Liu Bei joined us. So there's also a random factor. Liu Bei is like the ultimate Han loyalist, and he joined us after we killed the Sworn Brother. So there's clearly, sometimes there's just goofiness. Um... Sanctions, suggestions, banquet in Hanjong. Now, a banquet in Anding, I would go for. 400 gold to do sabotage? Why not? Let's give it a try, shooting you out. Yes, public order's been lowered by now. It's make it much easier to conquer. Yeah, you haven't had anything to talk about for a while. In the, but, like, the idea that you um, organized a group of bandits to go launch a raid. Or something like, you know, you, you can do something with that if you feel like it. And if you don't, you are not obligated. You're under no obligation. Call now. Uh, Guan Ling. You know what? We got, like, so much fucking gold. Let's just get a couple of free loyalty points from a couple of officers in those cities. It's for sabotaging Ping Yuan. I don't remember exactly what this will do. Public order again. I'm rich, I can afford it. Overseer proposals. Public order. It doesn't come up that much, but suggests that there probably is a need. Oh, and WAF. It's Juan. Juan has been... Juan is fine. Juan has been ours for a long time. It's always had overseers. The public order, if it's not at 100, it's very close. And that... Wu Gate didn't have an overseer for like three turns, so the public order probably dropped to like 98. Uh, otherwise, I'm just looking for cities that we just taken over. It's fine. And our alliance is about to conk out with Sun Tzu. We can't actually do anything with it yet. Gong Xing Zan is a trusted. Gong Xing Du is a friendly. So we're not getting. We're not getting any of these guys to surrender to us. Since is it trusted? Trusted is better than friendly, isn't it? We'll need to get that, um... We'll need to get, uh, stuff going with Sensa. As far as an alliance, if I, if I just want to maintain the status quo of taking over all the north before I deal with them. Next time we get an alliance going, it might be time to just start using, like, underhanded tactics and dragging our um, relationship down really low, <laughs> but still having an alliance that neither of us can get out of so that I can start just annoying his cities that are on my front line. Uh, let me do sir. Well, I got one order left. Let's do a search of Shang on. We were supposed to have searched here before. Alright, we're out of order, so... I think I do need to order them... No, he's already on the move. So when the combat's done, he will move up north on his own, and that will bring him into combat with that other unit. Either way, Bay High is falling here. It's just a matter of how many troops I lose. Dong Heng visited Li Jui. Would you bring our talents to our? Would you bring our talents to our, my army? Oh, please say yes! I can't look. I'm so scared. I understand. Yes, so very well. I will go as well. I don't know why I talk like this, but I do. 
Would you please consider using your talents for your majesty? Oh, no, he is my majesty as of now. Sunda is it a Jeju. Let me try pirate talk to convince you. Ah, if we could welcome you into our army, we would be in a much better position. Would you please consider lending us your support? You. Yeah. Yar. Because he kind of looks vaguely like a pirate in Dynasty Wars. Yang Mi visited Zhu Shi. Do you ever consider serving our army? I'm sure your majesty would be very happy, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, and tell Cao Cao, wink! Cheng Zhui visited Cheng Yu. Would you please consider using your talents for your majesty? Let me think about it. Yes, I will. Chi Sun Ri's character Caw has risen by one. It's one short of being 6'9, guys. Ah, it's such a headache. I made a mistake. Yang Bao visited Wang Jifu. Would you ever consider serving our army? I'm sure your majesty would be very happy. I pledge allegiance to you, won't you? So, it looks like JG Mystery is kind of fleeing from this guy. Which is interesting, but he's fleeing right to where uh, All Dragon was supposed to be marching, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Okay, we're not going to have combat here probably on this turn, so I can focus on watching this fight and not worry about missing anything over there. Because All Dragon is just sitting back. I made a mistake here. This is terrible. That's an archer unit, and it's just firing on us, and we're just ignoring them. Oh, no, I'm not. It's, it's paused. Duh. I think at some point she has to march up there and attack. She's being attacked. Chang Ji visited Guo Si. Would you ever consider serving our army? I'm serving our army. It's good. Okay, leave it to me. I'll go on a rampage. Fujun visited Sui Yang. You ever consider serving our army? <laughs> hey, he looks kind of like uh, absolute Ricky Starks. Vorta visited Kayan. Would you consider using your talents in our army? Together, we'll show them what we can do. Let's show them right now. Sorry, I don't know why I made so stupid. Come on, get up there and attack him. Clifford visited Shang Chi. <laughs> I'm Clifford the Big Red Dog. Who's a good little boy? This is our destination. Junior visited Quang Queen Jung. Would you ever consider serving our army? I'm sure your Majesty would be very happy. All right. This will give me a place to use my sweet helmet. Fa Zhang visited Luo Guai. Would you ever consider serving our army? I'm sure your majesty would be very happy. I have been waiting for this moment. I shall go with you, Sonny. Ga Ning visited Yang Ding. Alright. Chen Dao visited Duan Wei. Man, he looks badass. Would you would walk we would welcome you into our army. We would be in a much better position. Would you please consider lending your support? I pledge allegiance to you on Shu. Runan has become a large city. It's all been made possible by my awesome leadership. There are rumors of quite an exit on him in Chang'an. You should be worth checking out. Ma Tong Army is finally advancing. You won't need to worry about attacks from Sun Tzu Army until after next month. Got the Inflamed Tome at Chang'an. Recruited all these people that we were sent to recruit. We got order down in some of these cities, but the order was at 100 at all these places, so it's not really that impressive. All right, so they they uh, did some damage to JG Mysteries unit, but their army is going to be defeated. And I would presume in the next video uh, we will take Beihai and put an end to Kong Rong's force. And uh, all right, here we go. Combat is about to start over here. So when we come back next time, guys, 
Shit's about to get real with Ma Tang's army. They've got us outnumbered. Um, we've got some good officers. They've got good officers. And I don't have anybody who's really going to have a whole ton of tactics ready to activate because I'm using a formation that concentrates on having high troop counts. So we will begin the next video probably by just kind of taking a look at the stats of the units, figuring out if there's anything that we need to do to change our plan. Uh, it's probably going to be a big, ugly war of attrition, but we'll see if we can uh, turn the scales in our favor next time. See ya.